Buddy Murphy was on the show. He got a win over R-Truth. Yes. Congratulations. He got a win over R-Truth. That segment sucked. They had the parade of 24-7 goofballs running out to play Ring Around the Rosie, Around the Ring. The same routine they do every single week. No creativity whatsoever. It's just, hey, it's the 24-7 segment. Let's send out the clowns to run around the ring when the bell rings. We'll have them all jog to the back, and we'll move on to segment four. This did nothing for Buddy Murphy. One of the people, by the way, who has vowed never to return to Saudi Arabia after what happened this past week. This was a waste of time. But let me say this about our truth Because I like our truth He does the comedy stuff well. It's just that the whole 24-7 thing has worn on me. It's not an indictment on our truth or anything. I want to make that clear. Our truth turns 48 years old in January. If you can believe it, 48. And I don't know how much longer he plans to do this for. He could go another five years, or he could retire next year. I haven't asked him, so I don't know. But I think when he is ready to wind down, what I would like to see them do with him is a serious storyline. One last serious storyline with R-Truth, where he goes after the WWE Championship. Not something to be played for laughs, something serious. Because I think the fans would get behind him if they tell the story the right way. It could make for some really compelling television. If we know that his career is winding down and they come up with a story and, and there's stories they could tell. I would hope, you know, with the army of writers that they have, they can come up with something for him. Tell the right story, I think it could make for some compelling TV. And he could probably cut some real good promos. We know he can talk. I'd like to see them do something like that with him before uh, before it's all over. You know, Mark Henry had the chance. Mark Henry had the chance to become a serious contender. He had the chance to become a world heavyweight champion. I don't think R-Truth would win the championship, and I'm not even saying necessarily that he should. I'm just saying that he deserves that. I think he deserves to have one last serious storyline. He is beloved by enough people that I think people could buy into it if they play it the right way. And I don't know if that's next year. I don't know if that's the year after. But he's not getting any younger. And yeah, he's good at the comedy stuff, but that, you know, it's like, why does everybody have to be one-dimensional in this company? You know, we've also seen him not doing comedy stuff. I'd like to see him get one last shot at it before it's all over. 